Jake Gyllenhaal is better at oddballs than heroes. Thank God he's playing one of the former in this Roadhouse remake. Photo. Laura Radford, Prime Video as an avid consumer of violence on screen. I've got to hand it to the new Roadhouse for never looking back once it gives into havoc. The 1989 original, which starred Patrick Swayze alongside Patrick Swayze's magnificent mane of hair and Patrick Swayze's oiled up chest, pretended to be about its main character Dalton's triumph over his own savage impulses while working as a bouncer in Jasper, Missouri. Obviously, though, it was also about how badass it was when he tore a guy's throat out with his bare hands. The 2024 edition, which casts Jake Gyllenhaal as an even more ripped, but down on his luck, version of the same character, doesn't bother with restraint. Sure, this Dalton is a former UFC fighter who's racked with guilt over having killed an opponent in the ring. It's why he reinvented himself as a smiley drifter who lives out of his car until he gets an offer from a stranger named Frankie, Jessica Williams, for a job at her bar in the Florida Keys. But when he does give in to his rage, it's with a feeling of, finally, rather than any show of, oh no. New Roadhouse believes that its audience is there for pandemonium rather than philosophy, and you know what? It's not wrong. That lack of enlightenment makes the Roadhouse remake pretty inept in terms of replicating the spirit of the original. It keeps the basic bouncer versus shady businessman setup while leaving all of the weirder, more interesting details behind. No half-considered homoeroticism or mention of any traveling circuit of semi-famous, coolers, who get troubled honky-tonks under control. But whatever. Director Rowdy Harrington's 80s standard may have been brute forced into the cult canon by repeated plays on cable TV, but it's hardly a sacred text. The new movie, helmed by Doug Lehman, is really a naked attempt to capitalize on MMA fandom, with one of the sport's most toxic stars, Conor McGregor, making his acting debut as henchman Knox. And yet, despite the mercenary nature of its existence, Roadhouse is better than it has any right to be, perfectly enjoyable schlock that's helped along by how unserious it is. Rather than enshrine mixed martial arts as a macho achievement, Lehman approaches it and the film's action sequences like a live-action Looney Tunes, in which the prospect of sustaining actual physical damage seems distant until it abruptly is not. When he's not flinging characters through furniture or off boats, He's flinging the camera around in an effort to make the movie's brawls look more dynamic. Honestly, they could use the help. MMA may be brutal, but it's not the most innately cinematic of approaches to combat, and Roadhouse can't quite hide that by whirling its lens dizzyingly through space and dropping into the occasional pov shot.